So that's me, seconds away from the ride of my life, strapped into the cockpit of a cutting-edge single-seat aircraft. It's called Blackfly, and it's named for a tenacious Canadian insect. As the machine leapt into the sky, I felt a rush of adrenaline. Before this flight, the largest thing I had ever flown was a DJI Phantom drone. And now here I was inside one with enough energy to carry me for miles and miles. It was an absolutely thrilling experience. The Blackfly, built by a company called Opener, is a kind of aircraft called an eVTOL, which stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. It's one of hundreds of such aircraft, all of them experimental, that have been built in recent years. They take advantage of the unique features of electric propulsion in aircraft, such as very rapid and precise control of electric motors. Electric VTOLs, I think, are you know, really exploding in interest and in, in investment and in, in different applications for them for, for a number of reasons. One is the battery technology is finally matured to the point where you can actually get some reasonable flight utility out of the energy that's stored. And at the same time, you've got motors uh, that are of a sufficiently small form factor to, to deliver that propulsion. Parkland notes that most eVTOL companies are building vehicles capable of carrying several passengers in addition to a pilot. They are all chasing a dream called urban air mobility, a radically new vision for transportation. In this vision, scores or perhaps hundreds of aircraft would swarm over a city during rush hour. But for this to happen will require aviation regulators, such as the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, to come up with a consistent set of requirements to certify these aircraft. Nobody thinks that's going to happen anytime soon. But Opener is one of a handful of companies pursuing a different idea. Highly advanced eVTOLs that are compact and very easy to fly, and therefore meet the definition of an ultralight aircraft a recreational aircraft category that does not require certification by the FAA. As a company, Opener is as unusual as its business plan. Of its 70 employees, about half are engineers or technicians. Recently, I spent a couple of days in Palo Alto, California, at the buildings that house Opener's offices, laboratories, and manufacturing facilities. Opener has taken a, a strategy that I think is fairly unique amongst all the electric vertical takeoff and landing players. We're focused very specifically to gain market entry in the recreational and uh, short trip single passenger category. And there's, that's a place where we can operate within the constructs of Part 103, which is uh, the regulation that creates space for something called an ultralight. And an ultralight is, is a fairly unregulated category of air vehicles. So those are completely decoupled. So that's one of the hardest things for pilots to get um, around in terms of the training. So if you go like this, the aircraft pitches forward, but you don't change how high you are? No, it's going to speed up. That's Christina Menton, Chief Operating Officer of Opener, who spent half a day teaching me the basics of takeoff and landing utilizing the single joystick that controls the aircraft. The future of eVTOLs in the aviation market is inevitable. Uh, the technology is there. There are companies who are solving the infrastructure solutions. The FAA uh, is working at creating categories for these types of aircraft. And the aircraft solve a challenge that everyday people have, and that's transportation. Transportation has been restricted to two-dimensional roads for as long as cars have existed. We have large airplanes that are expensive to fly, uh, inefficient to operate, and uh, uh, need a runway. Um, so eVTOLs are really inevitable. We're flying our eVTOL every day that we can. Uh, Blackfly gets flights up to 25 flights in a single day and we're flying almost every day that weather permits. So what's it like to fly a Blackfly? The aircraft is controlled by eight different propulsion systems and these eight different propulsion systems are operating at different RPMs controlled by the flight controllers. So you'd think that inside you have a lot of vibration from these different control systems and everything operating independently, uh, but with just some regular noise cancelling headphones, it's an extremely smooth and clear experience. So every single person who hops into the aircraft comes down and has a huge smile on their face because it is just such an incredible experience and it's something unlike anything that you will have ever done in your whole life. Finally, the big day arrives. So just around the base station As Chief out. Operating Officer, um, Minton is in charge of these test flights. 
and her boss, Ken Carklin, is about to take his second flight ever in a black fly. Before my flight, I got a briefing from Menton. It's not often that the chief executive of an aircraft company helps you on with your helmet. And then, up, up, and away. It was about the most fun I've ever had, as you can probably tell from the perma smile on my face. It was over way too soon. Thanks for sharing this with us. Thank you. Yeah. That was great. It's a wonderful thing you built. It was a short flight, but spectacular and stunning. Essentially automated, but it gave me a taste of something really amazing. <laughs>